is our fortune today. Good luck. Okay, well... Good luck is not sufficiently good luck, so we're not going to, uh... We're not going to deal with that. What we'll do is we'll do Robin's quest today. Uh, yes, I've already, uh... Taking care of a lot of this. Alright. Uh, there we go. So today's plan, because we're only on good luck and not like excellent, amazing, incredible, or anything else luck-wise. Uh, what do we want to duplicate? We got diamonds duplicating already. Duplicate a couple of emeralds. Uh, aquamarines. Let's do aquamarines. So today we're going to take care of a handful of things we need to take care of in terms of uh, special unlockables and whatnot. So, uh, what we need is... shit that we need. That's step one. We've got 250 hardwood, so I think we'll be okay, to be totally honest. So, we want our axe. We're gonna take care of the hardwood. We want a... super cucumber? Super Cucumber. We're going to grab the Strange Bun. Uh, grab a Grape Wine. Grape Wine we're going to put down there, though. Uh, grab a Fairy Flower. Actually, here's what we're going to do. The fairy Flower there. We're going to grab a Sunflower. And we pissed off Jody again. So let's uh, let's figure out what she likes. Um, she likes fruit. Okay. Well, blackberry is a fruit. It's not a uh, exciting fruit, but it is a fruit nonetheless. Uh, I just want to grab an emerald. Mr. Vincent, we need, we'll grab a gift for him. Also grab a pumpkin. We'll hold on to one of the snails. Because snails for Vincent. Those should work nicely. Okay, so we've got our axe, our super cucumber, and the strange bun. Uh, the other thing we need to take care of are those two uh, secret notes that we unlocked. Let's see. Um, need to figure out. Okay, so we've got that one. I have my notes here, just uh... Okay. So we can't do the one, but we can do the other, so we'll, we'll take care of that. And of course, as we wander around, we'll take care of any of this stuff that we see. We don't really need to do all this uh, foraging, but we will. Hmm. 
graphics are throwing me for a loop here. I thought I saw something when there was nothing there. Now. We start here, and we go this way, and this way, and this way, then this way, then this way. Whee! Then this way, 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 and ha ha! There we go. The solid gold. Lewis statue. Which deserves its own spot in the middle of town, obviously. Red mushroom for Linus. Yeah, we can take care of that. Then, let's head back to... Let's uh, speed things up here a little bit. Let's head back to one... Willow Lane. And take care of another secret note that we had. And this goes here. Aha! Yes, it does! And <laughs> we get this awful fucking statue. <laughs> awful fucking statue. for mom because we're idiots and pissed her off last time uh, it's Thursday so let's go this way oh why are you having a picnic in the middle of fucking winter come on penny I do know all about life in the country I'd love to. I think we were supposed to get this cutscene in the spring, or the summer, or fall. The natural resources. Yes, watch me chop down this entire forest. star points worth. What is the economy of star points, Penny? If there is no economy of star points. Country life is all about farming. Ideal for growing delicious vegetables. We don't actually have any animals. So the answer is absolutely, but I don't... Big family? Not so much. But we'll, we'll go with that. It's kind of the closest. Perfect. Accidental cutscene aside... Oh man, 
man, we are just cutscene mania, eh? Turns out people like us. What the hell? Hey, we've got them all fooled. Use the hammer on the wood. <laughs> I like, I appreciate the hell out of the fact that they put creepy in there. It's the same with people. Part of being an artist is uh, accepting the fact that people might critique your, your art. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kel, fuck off. I don't know who you are. You've got a phone, though, and that's something that not a lot of people have. You also have no phone lines coming to your... It must be a satellite phone. Kind of. is still calling you? That's weird. Okay. So, uh, why didn't she do that? You should go to med school or be a lawyer. Was that selfish? So this. No, it had to be done. Is it selfish of you? 100%, but that's not a bad thing. And none of those yes answers. It, you gotta do what, what you want. You gotta do what's good for you. There we go. It's a bold idea, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. What's her name up here? Skipping rope? No, I did not think so. Oh, but she is right here. Uh, here. I I'll admit, writing in cursive, that's a skill. I don't think it's a useful skill, though. I can type. Ten times faster than I can possibly uh, do anything in writing. <clears throat> Holy shit. A thousand skirts, eh? And then I can just select font. Last gift we're gonna take care of. Let's pop in here. Ha! She's right there. A pumpkin for you. It does go by so fast. Uh, you don't have anything I need, right? No. No, you do not.
I do miss miss the smell of the ocean. It's a uh, something that you, you you never appreciate, I guess, what you have until it's gone. Which I mean speaks volumes to things in general, isn't it? Uh, we want to put this here. No, here. Hmm. What the hell? How do I do it? Oh, okay. Just this way. How the hell do I get in there? Aha! There we go, and another ugly fucking statue. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, now let's go and chop down a whole bunch of trees. Uh, bus stop. Oh, those are all ready. Phenomenal. Well, it's... I think we're out of. Yeah, we're pretty much out of vegetables to put in there. That's really good. And really bad. Um. I don't think we need radish for anything. I think we need yams for anything. Potato. We're just gonna get rid of all of the oddball things here. Hold on to pumpkins, because pumpkins are useful. Hold on. Grab corn. Artichokes are good for artichoke dip. Coffee seeds we're going to get out of here because we're going to throw that in there. Bok choy, cauliflower, that. Okay, so first of all, coffee seeds go in the coffee seed place. Let's start with radishes. I mean, it's not... A lot of the, the vegetables that we're throwing in here are not the ideal candidates for turning into this shit, but... Oh, well. We're not super concerned about all of that at the end of the day. so much money. It's going to be disgusting. Uh, these ugly fucking things. Is <laughs> oh, they're brilliantly disgusting. I love it. Alright, let's chop some wood. do I'm actually gonna take care of a lot of the hardwood that's on our property to start because that'll get us a lot closer a lot quicker Since we don't need hardwood in any immediacy, I think we'll be okay to do it this way. There's, we're gonna have thirty. We're gonna have to be halfway there by the end of today, which 
We got four days left. Uh, it's gonna be a little close on the timing. I, I will admit that. All for bed designs. Mm. Well, we're gonna be more than halfway uh, realizing, actually. Plant our axe into that tree just to show it who's boss. Oh, okay. I thought there was a, another. Apparently, I was wrong. be able to complete this quest today. Ah, uh, tomorrow. We won't be able to complete it today, only on virtue of the fact that Robin's store is going to be closed by the time we hit the secret woods and come back. But still, pretty good. We should have brought maple syrup. That's the other thing we'll do. Uh, we're not going to have to come back here for hardwood tomorrow. We will, though, I think. Okay, so we've got sufficient hardwood so that I don't have to come back here tomorrow. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the maple syrup. We're going to have to pop one more coffee at, you know, 9 at night. here. We're going to make it there about 940. We'll take care of the maple syrup. Sprint back. We'll call it a night. during the day? Wait a second. Does it have to be during the day? I didn't think it had to be during the day. Yes, it does have to be. Can't be any later than 7.
Well, there's one other secret note that we can take care of. And it's a little ways away, but we're going to make it there. Nobody's around, nobody's gonna care if we root through the, uh, dumpster. In fact, we shall do so. Oh, hello, Willy. Let's check what's the, what's at the bar. Ice cream, all right. And crab cakes. Wait. There we go. <laughs> nice little Easter egg there. That, that's going to be brilliant. That should be taken care of tomorrow. Or we should get uh, get some feedback about that tomorrow. What did the townsfolk think about their magnificent statue of solid gold? Oh, well, we'll call it a night here. And what's the luck looking like today? Okay. Still not excellent, so we're still not going Skull Caverns. Oh, okay, go to the library today. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Void Essence, okay. <laughs> Private Belongings. gold statue is, of course, now gone, never to be seen again. I think you might be able to, if you refollow the exact steps, be able to retrace it, but... So, plan for today. We're going to take care of that, take care of that. It's just garbage. Oh, we need to go and get our copper uh, thing. Copper trash can. Which means we can also take five iron bars and get that upgraded. We need a void essence for Mr. Uh, what's his name? We need a red mushroom for Linus. Where do I put my red mushrooms? Red mushrooms are over here. Red mushroom for Linus, and we'll also bring Mr. Linus a blackberry. He likes those. Take care of all of that. Take care of that. We're going to leave that so that it, that lines up with uh, the other stuff. Socially, 
Linus. Oh, Emily. We gotta uh, go give Emily a gift. When we're going to the secret woods, we'll hit up that. We'll hit the wizard. Have we given the wizard a gift lately? No. Okay, so we'll bring a, a second void essence as well, just to give him uh, a gift. Uh, give. Giving Pam a gift. Does Pam like beer? I kind of feel guilty giving Pam beer. Let's see. Does Pam like beer? Yes. Yes, she loves beer. Okay. Well. Fuck it. I am not above giving her what she wants. We're going to grab that for Haley. Linus, we're going to hit a gift for. Emily, we're going to get a gift for. Penny's good. Clint, yeah, we'll hit him in the bar later. Marnie, we can take care of the bar later. Okay, so that's good for now. Uh, let's go Secret Woods first. Secret Woods first. And we're going to sprint down to the... Uh, We could also probably upgrade our house again. If we were so inclined to. In fact, we might stop by Robin's and, and see. Oh, we gotta go to Robin's anyway. That's perfect. So when we're at Robin's, we'll see what the next house upgrade is and what it costs. Things line up every once in a while. That's nice. All right, what you got? Nothing of any value, eh? Hey, that's that's disappointing. Okay, well, see ya. Yeah. Okay. The Cutscene automatically triggers. Perfect. That's what I like. A bear that can talk. It's Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo. Yeah, I guess you're right. We weren't instilled with the forest magic to talk with the Juminos. Jumanjis, whatever the hell they are. I did. Brought that good stuff. I love that portrait. That's such a good portrait. Got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. And we learn how to. Do we get extra? No, they're worth three times as much. Which is, I mean, pretty fucking phenomenal. All right, we'll get some extra hardwood. Because we're here, and for no other reason. Ow, asshole hiding in the uh, trees there. Secret note. Neat. 
Mr. Q is actually. And, uh, he, quite nicely, will not show up if you use uh, more than a certain number of ladders, like the ones that are made out of stone, to drop through floors. So you have to legitimately, like, YOLO through to him. Yes, they are. Am I allowed in your basement yet? I am. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you put the strange bun there, that's where it'll turn on spawn triggering. Or, uh, spawns on your, your farm. Now, we're here. We might as well take a quick peek. Yeah, well, actually, we're gonna... Might as well take a quick peek at what, uh, Poke is selling. Kind of like the the Santa hat. Mm, nothing, nothing's quite as good though as our uh, watermelon tiara, uh, our watermelon bandana tiara, whatever the hell it's called. Only pick that up because it's literally in my way. So, all right. Let's go grab Frozen Tears for Sebastian. Even though we'll hit him up at the bar, we're going to be in the room anyway, so it's like, eh. One less thing to carry to the bar later. Grab a Frozen Tear. Open that up. Sure we don't bring an excess. Swing up here. Mines. We haven't given our dwarf buddy any uh, stuff in a good long while, which is unfortunate. We should. You wanted a red mushroom for your shelf for some reason. Here's... Yeah, sure. Whatever the hell that means. Expecting this. Hey, Maru. <laughs> All right. I'll watch it, but if it starts to like explode, I'm going to sit there and watch it explode. I ain't doing anything about it. The first time I got this cutscene, I pissed Demetrius off. I don't remember what I said, but he was like, grumble, grumble, grumble. Whatever my option is here. Yeah, your dad... Your, your dad thinks I'm a waste of time. Yeah, actually, your dad was being weird. We'll say nothing. called him weird the first time. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Nice. Alright, what is the house upgrade? 
50? 150. Ooh, that. She's expensive. Alright, well. What do you got going on in terms of shit in your store? The plasma TV, of course. That's, that's cool enough that I'm going to pick that up. The mini fridge is also kind of cool. And that's, that's cool. Alright, alright. <laughs> Just carry a phone above my head. All right, I knew this cutscene was going to play. I wish you could, like, sit on the couch. What are you working on? I'm pretty sure that is the farmer from Harvest Moon. So don't. No appreciation. Yeah, I mean, Sebastian, there is exactly two computers, and they are in both in your room. Sure, I get it. Computer programming can be a lu uh, lucrative, but it's also trading your soul for money. Oh, double cutscene back to back. Oh, I remember this cutscene. This is this is a D and D cutscene. Uh, there is a way to win that I stumbled across, and I... Okay, there we go. Solarian Chronicles. Sure. Necromancer's Tower. Zarth. Whatever. <laughs> yep. Uh, I tend to... I tend to play wizard, uh, healer. I am one of those weirdos who likes support classes. If we're talking about my fortune in gold and silver, it's not a big enough fortune. It should be platinum and gold. Nick. 
Necromancer's Tower. The tower lies before you. We're going through the front. I'm not the tank. Spooky, scary skeleton. Be gone! Uh, if he's lunging at us, defense. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, we're going to the left towards the glowing light. Oh no, human experiments. Uh, if he's a necromancer and there's bodies floating in suspended animation, we're destroying the capsules. There's no way in hell we're letting him have his zombie things come up and sneak up behind us and murk us. Dreadlord. Oh, he's looking, he looks badass. Is that spelt right? I think there's only one S in Trespass. Shadow Beam! Oh, it has a sound effect. Companions are gravely injured. Well, uh, we're gonna heal the wizard. Heal the DPS. If the tank dies, I'll revive him. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> holy, so you cast holy, essentially. We've struck him down. Now he is more powerful than we can ever imagine. Hey, we got an A. Nice. Nicely done, nice. you three or four tries to beat a scenario? Come on. That's weak. You call yourself a gamer. Here. I 100% disagree with that statement. 100%. I am sorry, but living next to train tracks kind of sucks. All right. Let's go this way. Uh, we are taking the longest way possible. Well done, me. If we'd just gone this way, we would have been like up here. And optimizations. Not even close. Alright. There's probably a mathematical formula. very clearly outlines when it is a good idea or how how much you have to do before you upgrade or don't upgrade uh, the trash can because to get copper copper reclaims like what 10 percent and if that's the case Somewhat disagree with that. Oh, there she is. 
assessment. You would get murked in that cave. Hilariously, I do not. I could have a, a horse on my farm, though. If I was so inclined. Alright, well... Here's what we'll do. We need to determine... Dump all of our crap off here. <laughs> Those statues are just so phenomenal. All right, we're gonna put this here so we don't forget it exists. And we're gonna put this here. Oh, it's slow. Fried calamari. Marnie, Pierre, Clint. Oh. Nice. Okay, so that's that's what I was looking for. I was curious if I could do that. And the answer is yes, you can. Which is actually pretty critical. I'm going to go here. Okay, we're gonna make a mad dash. Before 5 p.m. Come on, before 5 p.m. It's going to be tight. Timing is going to be close. We're going to make it. We're not going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to do our house upgrade. What? You lying bitch. Where the fuck are you? You son of a bitch! Oh, you unbelievable lying son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm up until 5. Okay, I'm on my way. Well, nobody's here. It's 4.30. I'll just close up shop. You son of a bitch. Oh! Interesting. That wasn't even like... Neat. That's not even like an actual bat. That, on the other hand, holy fuck. At that point, you just hold your sword over the hole and let the bats fly into the sword. Okay. You, you are batshit crazy, lady. That's fine. trope of a uh, confession. Certainly makes for a story, I'll tell you what. It 
So where did you guys meet? Thousand gold for the mega bomb. Nah, nah, not worth. We can build more of them better. Nah, that's not where I meant to go. Bus stop is where I meant to go. There's a few more spots where we're supposed to be planting these. No, nope, I think all of these have trees in them now. Yeah, it would appear so. Nice. Okay. So we actually are uh, oops, good to go on uh, hardwood then. And also, this is bugging me. So I'm gonna... there we go. Now, gift-wise, at the bar, we'll hit up Shane. Emily, we gave today. Take care of Clint. Bop. Marnie. Willie. I have to really struggle not to call him Wiley. I think he likes sea cucumbers. We'll, we'll find out. Wizard, we dealt with today. Robin. Pam, we're going to grab her beer. Lewis. Gus. Gus likes tomatoes. We'll grab him a tomato. Pepper. What the hell does he like? He likes blackberries, so we're just giving him a blackberry. Keep it simple. You know what? Pierre likes tomatoes too. We can grab a couple of tomatoes. No, do not eat the blackberry. Alex likes jade. Okay, we'll grab some jade. That should be good enough. Then we'll head to the bar. Good stuff. Good stuff. We are going to be rich as fuck. Oh, hey. Rotten plant. Gets replaced with a rotten plant. All right, let's go through this list real quick. Marnie. You are welcome, Mr. Mayor. You do love those. That's awesome. Boots are pretty fucking awesome. Alright, who are we missing in terms of gifts? We have one extra tomato. Is Elliot? Elliot likes tomatoes. Okay. 
We haven't given him a gift yet. And we're gonna grab a beer, even though they're not cheap. We've hit everybody. <laughs> yeah, you do that. All right. I think we've talked to everybody. I think we've given everybody a gift. Oh, we didn't actually talk to Shane. Let's... We need to talk to Marnie, I guess. Talk to Robin. Does it count as having talked to her or no? Hmm, okay, hmm, that works. Alright, let's see. I'm excited to see how much fucking cash money we are going to get out of 130 something pickled pumpkins. That's a disgusting amount of, of pumpkins. Is there anything else we want to throw in there just to make that number disgusting disgusting? I think I think that's more than sufficient. Yeah, I think that's more than sufficient. Dirty amount of pumpkins. Alright, well, that's where we call it apart. No, oh, Miso loves you. Nice! Well, that's where we call it here. When we come back next time, let's go spend that cash. Till next time, guys. Later.